Hi everyone, it's Margaret here with 60 and Me. Hope you're doing well today. Thank you for being here as always. Welcome to all our new women that have joined us. I check every day and we've got lots of new people joining our website community, also our um, YouTube channel. It's just really great to have you here. So thank you so much for your support. It, it means a lot. But I hope that um, you get something from this too. And I, I always open my mind and my heart to suggestions and ideas. So always feel free to leave your comments uh, below, whatever the topic, just um, just have a, have a chat with us and and uh, this is our community. We do this together. We are in this together. <laughs> and um, I would be lost without you, you guys. So thank you again for being here. Now, my tea today is uh, and one that I've not, never tried before. It's by Heath and Heather. Um, it's called Sage and Lemo, Lemon Myrtle. So sage, we know what sage is, and lemon myrtle, I'd never heard of. So it's a plant that grows in Australia, and it's very full of zinc and calcium and magnesium. Lemon myrtle, I didn't know this. But it also is used in food and cooking, but those are the main things that are good for your, your body. I think it's got vitamin A and E as well. But you can check it online, lemon myrtle. But anyway, this is my tea for today. So I hope you've got something, uh, tea or coffee, juice, whatever you love. Uh, just settle down because I've got a chat today about a topic that, and don't go away because it's, it's going to be good for you, <laughs> um, that we've talked about before. But first, I wanted to remind you that our sponsor for today's show is International Living. International Living, a company that we're working with who are, they promote um, and help people to, to think about retiring abroad. So if you're thinking about moving to a place uh, in another country, maybe in South America, Ecuador, Panama, Costa Rica, Portugal, Spain, all those places, but you haven't been there before, they have got people in the, in the area doing the research and reporting back. And they provide all kinds of interesting facts that things that you know you need to ask yourself. So if you go out to their website, internationalliving.com and then slash 60 and me there is a report that they put together which is uh, five different places in the world where you can uh, just go and test this out for under fifteen hundred dollars a month this is their analysis and you can go there for a few weeks see if you like it and then come back and um, you know maybe consider moving there for a longer time or part of the year but um, international living actually also has a lot of other very cool um, resource information to share so thank you to international living now the question the topic the topic today we we know we talk about fashion and beauty and uh you know fun things and we also talk about retirement and downsizing but there's one thing we don't talk about too often and that is health and well-being staying healthy now we have a lot of articles on our website about nutrition and re recipes and things you can do to stay healthy and well but linda malone is one of our bloggers who her business is the exercise business she does uh, coaches people on getting out there and working out now you may be like me i don't like gyms i just don't like them i i I, and for the same reason that Linda actually mentioned, she's got some very funny um, introduction at the beginning of her article about who you see at uh, these types of places. But, um, you know, she's been practicing aerobics and, and fitness for a while. But, you know, think about this. Who remembers Jane Fonda's workouts? Who remembers flash dance or high impact cardio step exercise? Do you remember that step exercise that you used to do? Well, I didn't do it very often, but you know, but there were all these trends in exercise that came and went. And when it boils right down to it, you just have to do some cardio exercise, which gets your heart rate up and some weightlifting. Those, I mean, there's other approaches you can take. There's yoga, of course, which by the way, I must, mustn't forget. We have now just decided to give away access to all of our yoga videos free. That's the gentle yoga, the chair yoga, yoga flows, all of them now are available online. The access to those videos is free. And Kat Kabira is our teacher. She's amazing. She's been working with older people um, for so many years, and she's got such great insight into how to bring um, uh, yoga into your, into your daily life. But anyway, everything is free. If you go up to YouTube, you can watch the videos every day and just make it your practice. So I didn't want to make sure I didn't miss that because yoga is a great exercise and so is Pilates. But um, what Linda's talking about is just plain old simple uh, going to the gym exercise. So 
she says that when you go there there's always like three types of people there's the creepy guy that's always admiring himself in the mirror you know just that kind of cool guy there's the person who like um treats the bike like his starbucks he's got the cup of tea the video the watching and he's doing his thing and there's a third person which is probably you which is the person that goes in regularly runs their little heart out or does all the cardio stuff and then doesn't lose weight and this is frustrating and Linda has got some advice. She's got some reasons that you probably are not succeeding um, with your regular workout regime and just based on her experience. Now, the first thing is the closer you get to your goals, the harder it is. So it's, it's kind of, well, not easy, but it's more straightforward to lose five pounds or 10 pounds. But if you've got more than that, you're trying to lose and you're trying to you know change your whole lifestyle and change your eating habits, drinking habits, then you're going to find it harder as you go forward to lose that weight. You know, you've got to cut calories, of course. That's the only way that you're going to lose weight. Um, you know, and, but you may have bigger goals. So I think you have to, like Linda says, you keep, um, you know, keep your eye on the longer go term goal and know that it's going to get tough. It's not going to be easier as you go. That's her opinion. Now, the other thing is that you're afraid of weight training. Now, it's one thing to go on the exercise machines, do the stretches and the pulls and the pushes and, uh, you know, all that kind of stuff, the leg pumps. But it's really important, according to Linda, that you do some weight loss, uh, weight loss, um, weight lifting. And this can be uh, combined with balance exercises, but, you know, just getting those muscles in your body working. This is one area where I have always fallen down and my arms and my muscles are here to prove it. But, you know, the thing is you've got to unlock uh, muscle tone because it is, uh, it is muscle tone that helps you burn calories. It's super simple. So the, the second thing that she says, the second reason is that you're eating too much. You may not think you are. You may think that you've got a nice sort of balanced diet, but you can't, as Linda says, you cannot outrun your fork. <laughs> That's a great analogy. But you know, if you're eating more calories than you need, you're not going to lose the weight. You could be running on the elliptical machine all day, but you're not going to lose weight if you keep eating too much. And that actually goes um, for drinking and, and drinking wine, especially, or any alcohol as well. And that's the third reason is that you're actually not letting yourself get outside your comfort zone. It's, it's really easy to go to the gym, do the exercise, think that you're doing everything great, but then coming home, drinking several glasses of wine, a little bit extra dairy product, you know, things that are putting back on all those calories that you learned, that you, you know, were, were exercising to lose. So that's another thing is just, you, you're going to, I mean, this is our, our opinion. I'm not preaching, seriously. <laughs> I'm the last one to preach because I don't do this very well myself, but I try, I do try. And, uh, you know, the thing is to actually be, make sure that you're a little bit outside your comfort zone. Like when there's a second glass of wine in your hand, think, no, just one is okay. I know that I'm adding another 200 calories if I do that. And then just try to feel what that feels like, <laughs> that that's uncomfortable, but it's positive. It's a negative positivity. And that's the third uh, reason that you might not be gaining your, um, getting your weight loss goals. Another thing is to um, f watch when you do things like always working out or walking when you're in the mood like you're oh yeah I feel like going to the gym today you've got to be consistent according to Linda and she's and this is the thing she's a professional in this you can read the article she's got lots of um, good information for you to consider um, but the thing is if you don't do exercise consistently then you and you only go to work out when you feel good and you feel like full of energy and ready to go you know um, I, I my son actually gave me always great advice is that try to go to the gym every day for a few minutes even if you go in do 10 minutes and then have a cup of coffee and walk out. Just get in the habit of doing this this exercise consistently. And um, and really put, associate it with like a part of your life that you're, you're trying to bring into being. Don't think about it as something that you only do when you feel happy and good. Go when you're feeling a bit tough, when it's raining, when it's not very pleasant. Go anyway. And then the other thing that she mentions, Linda mentions, is that you're, you get your exercise regime on autopilot. Now, a lot of gyms are kind of, in my opinion, support that because they give you a list of exercises to do and you go to the arm things and then the balance and then the legs and then the cardio and then the weights. And then you just get in that routine every day. And Linda says the secret, really, one of the secrets to losing weight and doing, get, getting the most out of your exercise practice is to mix it up a bit. 
change, you know, go to a different machine, try something a little bit different. Uh, change, every, you know, every six to eight weeks, just change your approach. Go to your, if you're with a trainer or you've got a list of things to do from a trainer, just go and say, hey, I've been doing this site for two months now. What can we do to change up a little bit? I'm getting kind of into a routine. I think my, my muscles could benefit from a little change and they'll help you. And if you can't do it with a trainer, just figure it out yourself, but just go to different um, machines, try different uh, weights, different balance exercises, and build your own plan. The other thing, and the final thing, is you give up. You give up too easily. I do this. It's so hard. It's so hard. I give up so easily and I try it, you know, to go back and I try to rewind and start it again, but it's just difficult for me. And I'm probably talking to some of you face to face, eye to eye as well. You know what I'm talking about. Don't give up. Try not to give up. The benefits of having a healthy body and strong muscles and a positive attitude to your body are going to be so, so amazing when you get older. Well, as you as you get even older <laughs> but you know it isn't your 70s and 80s and 90s it will really pay off so do you see yourself in any of this i mean are you having challenges with um with uh exercise T tell us what you find difficult and let's see if we can work together to find a plan for you it would be wonderful to help um, i'm really happy that you've listened through this thank you for staying with me till the end this is not a fun topic this is not the makeup and beauty topic but it's important well-being and health is super super important so take good care of yourselves, go and do some exercise, even if it's a walk around the park, that's all you can do, just do it. But take very good care of yourself. And we will talk again soon. Okay, everybody, bye-bye for now.